welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below so let's see how we can create the snapshot here but uh, this container you can see that so it is located on the nfs so it does not support any uh, snapshotting because uh, proxmox does not support the nfs snapshotting but this disk so where i have the another vm which is located on the local hard drive which is a lvm so you can see that this is supported here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take a snapshot one snapshot uh, i will take then what i will do um, i may be create some data and delete some data over there and uh, and we can restore the snapshot so this is a snapshot backup i say that so snapshot is created okay that's fine let's log into the virtual machine console root and provide the password and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a hundred text files here this is a just a test files dot txt file so you can see that so any one of the file i just let pick and uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to write some content in this text file testing snapshot something like that and copy paste the same line for multiple times okay so just verify the data integrity after the snapshot so now i have uh, created multiple files and i have written some data to the one file what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take another snapshot okay so this snapshot is actually protects the data now what we have the data created on this uh, virtual machine so it's going to retain that so it's a pointing time copy so that point whatever the data is there it should it should be in the snapshot okay say that the snapshot is working fine what i'm going to do is that now again go back and connect to the console and delete these files so what are the files are there just do rmf on r and rf you can see there is no files now what i'm going to do i'm going to restore back the snapshot so that you can get all of this data back let's see so we can do that see there is no files on the virtual machine so it's all everything is deleted now let's click on the snapshot and say restore it back restore and say yes okay so performing this action would be data uh, like whatever the data is there at this point of time it will be restored back to that okay if is there any application state that is also be restored to that particular point in time so be careful while restoring the snapshot it is not at all recommended for the production lines if uh, if you want to restore the production vms in case anything is corrupted or something is uh, majorly changed before the snapshot after the snapshot then you can revert it back but uh, careful while doing this snapshot on the production virtual machines or containers so let's see so virtual machine has been restored back and the sorry snapshot is restored and virtual machine is getting uh, online 
so it may take a few moments or a few minutes based on the uh, size or the backend hardware capability or the compatibility okay so now you can see virtual machine is back online let's log into the virtual machine and see so the data is restored back the snapshot is restored back okay let's see that so whatever the file is written over here so does does contain the data over there just say cat star you can see that the contain data the file content is restored back so that's how the snapshot is work, works pointing time copy for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications